people say that uh, we're looking for crafts in the sky. Well, I think it's time to start looking for something different, something alive. That's what the Indians saw in the sky. They didn't see or record flying saucers, flying crafts. They recorded flying serpents, living things in the skies. I think it's time for us to concentrate on something like this instead of crafts and wannabe UFO videos. This is it. This is the spot. This is a holy spot. Down there, we're going to hit next, is where they did their ceremonies. There's petroglyphs there. There's a light and shadow marker there we're going to hit. Right up on, right up above this canyon here. And there's trail, there's uh, petroglyphs down in this canyon that we're about to hit. Now in 2005, I believe it was, 2006, I was here and I, and I talked to these glyphs that we're about to go find down there in this canyon. And this is how this flying serpent came and, and, and saw me. It came out of this canyon. It came right out of the top of this canyon here where we're at. It went west, climbed about a thousand feet in the sky. And then it, it came towards my direction, over to where I was living at the time. It hung right above me as I filmed it. This is a magical spot. This is a sacred spot. Now we're going to explore the canyon with the glyphs.